Hello, this is John Black, Super Chemist. We're here to make some sodium carbonate. Right here, I got 42 grams of sodium bicarbonate. And like I said in another video, it's just basically baking soda. It's 100% pure. So basically, I'm just going to put that in the oven at 400 degrees, somewhere around there. And we'll see what happens. I'm using Fahrenheit instead of Celsius like I usually do. Uh, because ovens in America, they work on Fahrenheit. Uh, so I'm going to put it in 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see baking soda looks dry. It's powdery, puffy like flour. Well, there it is. I took it out of the oven. Uh, and it weighs 26 and a half grams now. You know, this only took me about 45 minutes. I want you to keep this in mind early on. I mean, if you do a lot, you're going to know that you're not done because you'll see all this water come out. And after it evaporates, you know, it'll have clumps. Uh, when you get rid of the clumps, then you know you're close. Uh, but the only way you can really tell that you're definitely done is to weigh it up. And uh, so you have to weigh it up a couple of times at the end um, until it gets to, you know, the weight that you want it to be at. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because if you have a plastic scale like I do, okay, and you put a 400 degree pot on it, it's going to melt it, okay? So you need to put a cloth down, like a, a washcloth or something, a little towel on there. And if you have a metal scale, okay, at 400 degrees, you could put it on there. You're probably going to shatter your glass. And if you don't, sooner or later, doing stuff like that, you will. Uh, so I suggest again, even if you're going to set it on the counter, the only thing you should be setting something that hot on is cloth. So you need to put a cloth something, uh, like a washcloth, on your scale so you don't shatter or shatter the glass or melt the scale, depending on whether it's plastic or metal. And I want you to see, uh, it's still the same texture. It's like flour. Um, it's basically, you can't even tell the difference between the baking soda and the sodium carbonate we just made they, they both are identically looking um, i actually wanted to show you how this when you put it in the oven it turns into liquid most of it and you and it kind of dissolves within that liquid uh, it didn't happen in this case um, i'm guessing because i had so little that it just evaporated you know this only took me about 45 minutes um, to do this and normally I do this for hours, you know what I mean? But I do a larger amount. And uh, my suggestions after doing it this way with just a little bit, because I used to fill it up a half, a whole inch. Uh, this time I barely covered the bottom of the tray. My suggestion is this, only put it in a millimeter high and use a really big dish as much as, you know what I mean, as big as you can get. And that way it won't take you hardly any time. If you put a cup of water in an oven, it, it's almost impossible to boil it away. It takes days. You know what I mean? You'd be there for eight hours trying to boil it away. But if you just have like a millimeter of water, you know, that's on a one foot by one foot or two foot uh, pan, and it has all that sur surface area, and it's just a millimeter high, it'll evaporate pretty quick uh, comparatively. Uh, pretty simple video so far. Just want to go over the stoichiometry and a couple facts here. Uh, first fact, 50 degrees Celsius uh, it does start to decompose. This is what we're doing. We're putting our sodium bicarbonate in the oven. And uh, I usually put it in about 350. And each time I do an experiment, I usually jack up the heat because the higher the heat, the faster it goes. This time I did it at 400 degrees, and I, I believe it really helped. Um, can't hurt, you know what I mean? Um, because at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit almost, um, it starts to be fast decomposition, okay? And how is it decomposing? Well, if you have two of these sodium bicarbonate molecules, you need two sodiums for your sodium carbonate, that's why you have two, right? Then you need two hydrogens for your water. So there's two. 
Then you need one carbonate. There's one carbonate. And you still need an oxygen for your water and another CO2, and that's where the second carbonate comes in from. It makes the CO2 and adds the oxygen to the hydrogens to make the water. And that's basically all you're doing is you're driving the water and the carbon dioxide off, and you're putting two sodium bicarbonate molecules together to form one sodium carbonate. And you can see there's a two to one ratio. This is double. If you, you need two of these molecules to make one of these. And as you can see, I rewrote this um, equation. So I like whatever, whatever the limiting reagent is to be at one mole, not two moles. It's easier to do the math. So how did I figure out how much the amounts I was using? Well, one mole of sodium bicarbonate is 84 grams per mole. I used a half of a mole, so that's 42 grams. Obviously, divide that by two. So, and so if this is a half a mole, then this has to be a half of that. And a half of a half is a quarter. And one mole of this is 106 grams per mole, so 106 times a quarter. 26.5 grams should be my um, yield. And it actually was, you're going to get an exact yield. I mean, if you have a super good uh, scale, you will always get exact to what, you know, you should. Uh, if you have, a, you know, just a crap scale like I got, I mean, if you're off by half a gram, you know, maybe keep it in the oven another half hour or something at 400, 500. Uh, but if it, you know, that's, you know, you can't trust scales to be perfect, you know what I'm saying? So don't waste a whole day trying to get rid of a half a gram. That it might already be gone, is my point. And if you want an easy way to figure out your stoichiometry, you can do this. Look at this. Two of these bicarbonates make one carbonate. One mole of this is 84 grams. One mole of this is 106, right? So if I have 84 grams here, which is one mole, I'm only going to get a half a mole here, so that's 106 times 0.5 is 53. So there's my matchup. That's how I figure out my percentage, okay? Because this is 100% yield, you know what I mean? Uh, so if I take 84 grams times 63.1%, that'll give me 53 grams. So anytime you want to do this, what you would do is you'd weigh out your sodium bicarbonate and you would say, how much sodium bicarbonate do I have? Do I have one gram? Do I have one? And it doesn't matter what units you use. Whatever units you use here, you just put the same units there. I use grams, so I put grams there. If you use ounces, put ounces there. So you put, so you weigh up your stuff, whatever you put, you put here, your number, uh, multiply that by point. 631, and that will be the 63%, and that will give you your yield, okay? So if you have 10 or 100 grams, 100 times this would give you 63.1 grams. And it's that simple. Just take it times point, whatever you start out with, take it times 0.631, and that is your yield. Whatever units you used, just use the same units over here for weight. Now I want you to keep in mind, look up on top here, you can see that sodium carbonate is actually a decahydrate, meaning 10 waters connected into the crystalline lattice. Now that's only if you take this, what we just made is anhydrous, but if you take that and you throw it in some water and you recrystallize it, that 26.5 grams will turn into 71.5 grams. As you can see, a mole of this is 286 grams a mole instead of 106. So all that extra part is just water. And uh, so you take 286 times a quarter, you end up with that. So keep that in mind if you do throw it in some water and recrystallize it for some reason. Um, if you evaporate all the water away and you're, and you're just left with your product, it's going to weigh 71.5 grams. Decahydrate. 10 water molecules incorporated into the crystalline lattice. So that's basically it. This is a nice, simple, easy video. Um, the only reason I made it is 
because it's a nice simple video but I'm also I need to make some Rochelle salt so I figured hey why not and I always remember science is great